In this video, we'll take a closer look at the chain guard. What are the pros of having a chain guard? And how do we remove the chain guard when we need to take off the rear wheel to mend a puncture? What's the chain guard even here for? On the one hand, it keeps your trouser leg from getting dirty. So even if your leg presses up against the chain, it'll stay clean. And the second important thing is protection. So there's no chance of a finger getting stuck in there when the chain is moving. Now, let's take a look at how the chain guard fits together. Let's begin by putting the bike upside down so that it stands up on its own and we can work on it without risk of it toppling over. So, what does this chain guard consist of? We've got clips that loop around the chain, plus two inner parts as well. One at the front and one at the back. When we want to take off the whole thing, we have to start by removing the rear part. To do this, we just lift it up and off the rails that it's sitting on. Okay, so that's the rear part removed. Now onto the front part. If you only need to take out the rear wheel, you can leave the front part attached. But I'll show you how to remove that part anyway. So the front part is basically clipped into these plastic clips that cover the chain. The best way to get it out is just to push the clips back, like this. It's really easy. So at the start, it can be a little bit tricky to get out though. And now, the front part is also free. So the next thing we'll do here is open up the brakes. Let's do that from below. First, you pull the dust cap back, push the caliper arms together, and then unhook the cable. Easy. Watch out. To take off the rear wheel on the bikes with coaster brakes, you need to remove the screw you can see here before you can slide the wheel out. You will need a crosshead screwdriver. Once you're done, don't forget to reinsert the screw, otherwise the coaster brakes won't work. Okay, so now grab the 5mm hex wrench and loosen both of the axle bolts. First the right, then the left. Right, now we've taken out the rear wheel, we can repair the puncture. <laughs> Okay, tube swapped, time to put the rear wheel back in. So this involves doing everything we just did, but in reverse. So first let's put the wheel back in. It's important to make sure it's straight. To tension the chain again, pull the rear wheel back a touch. Now do the other side, re-tightening the bolts. And then, check it all over. Yep, that looks good. Okay, moving on. So let's begin by putting the front part of the heavy chain guard back on. The best way is to slot it in between the clips here, slide the top in and underneath too. Now the front part is done, on to the rear part. So we hook that over the rails that are part of the front bit. Thread the whole thing on from the inside. Make sure you check that the inner part is properly resting on the chain ring and sprocket so that it won't shift while riding. That makes a really annoying clattering sound. 
What we have now is a heavy chain guard that is much too loose. You can tell because the middle section moves. The chain ring and sprocket are not attached. So this is not what we want. We'll have to resecure it. So let's do that now. Don't forget that the rear part has to be clipped into the chain clips too. It's pretty simple, just clip it in using two fingers on the clips. So now we've put the whole thing back together again. It's important that it's not too tight either. There should be room for a tiny bit of movement, but no more than a few millimeters of play. Great. That works. We can test it by turning the pedals. Looks great. Nice. That's your puncture sorted, but your brakes are still disconnected. It's best to put the bike upright to get better access here. Don't forget to put the dust cap back on before riding. Yep, it's good to go.